Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to make you a, a video guide on how to flash over um, F1 Innovation V10 by Faryab over on XDA. So um, I flashed over stock JVQ with Semaphore kernel, and so I'm on JVQ with um, Semaphore JVR 1.6. If you want a guide on that, um, it'll be below in the description, so please check that out. So what we're going to do now is put... Um, Faryab's ROM um, in the internal SD card. So as you can see, you enable USB debugging mode, connect your phone up, and then on the computer, just get my keyboard. Just go up to the computer. So you can see there's the um, F10 wipe. Um, and there's my JVQ and semaphore that I had right there. So we're going to go into the internal SD card. There we go. And copy it in there. You can also wipe the internal SD card if uh, so desired uh, before flashing over the ROM. Um, this will ensure a um, cleaner install, I guess, but, or just less cluttered. Uh, but what we're going to do in uh, in recovery is we're gonna um, delete um, factory reset, um, wipe the cache and the Dalvik cache as well so that um, we get a nice clean install and we get a wipe. Also make sure if you are coming from another ROM for example I don't know if you're on Darkies ROM or anything like that uh, make sure you disable lag fix before you flash um, as you can see I'm on stock um, ROM so it doesn't really matter uh, another thing, a good thing to ensure is that you're 100% so that you don't have to do battery calibration or anything like that. So, right, so now we're going to go into recovery. So I'm going to power off the phone. If you've got extended um, power menu, then just go straight into recovery. That's fine. Uh, but as I said, I'm on stock. Um, but I've got a, um, a kernel which is uh, clockwork compatible, if that makes sense. So in other words, I can access clockwork recovery. Um, whereas with stock recovery you won't be able to. So there you go. So first of all what we're going to do is uh, wipe data uh, factory reset. Press that. There we go. And then we're going to wipe cache partition. And then we're going to go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. There we go. Now we're going to go back and go install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and F1 innovation v10 and flash. And there we go, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. There we go. JVR baseband, um, Galaxian EE um, kernel in there, and F1 Innovation V10 in there as well. So there you go. There we go, there's a list of CSCs as well, so if you need to change that as well, you can do so. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, and uh, please do uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And finally I'll just show you the, there you go, JVR, JVR, and JVQ. Hope you enjoyed this video guys, take care, bye bye.